Hey guys, Matt from Eastwood here in my home garage giving you guys a quick little tech tip today. So if you are a mere mortal like myself or a lot of other DIY guys, there may be a time where you get into an instance where there is a weld seam that has a gap that's just a little too big and you really shouldn't be filling it with your MIG wire or your TIG wire that you would normally use to weld sheet metal. What ends up happening is you try and fill that gap with the wire it ends up blowing the seam apart, your, your seam gets bigger and bigger, and you create a big mess, and you end up putting a lot of uh, filler material in there to get the, the weld seam bridged, and then you end up putting a lot of heat into the panel, which uh, causes warpage, extra grinding, more finish work, and ends up being a nightmare. So what I found over the years is a little, a little trick that kind of has gotten me out of a jam and I think it will do the same for you. I'm going to show you guys today on my Model T project where I have a weld seam. There's about an eighth inch gap between the seam. It's basically where the top of the uh, cowl and the side of the cowl on the Model T from the factory comes together and there was a gap right there because there was actually a windshield stanchion that filled that. And now that I've restyled the car, that seam is now visible. I need to fill it up so it all blends together and looks nice when the car is done and painted. So instead of trying to cut a little piece of filler material of sheet metal to fit in there, uh, what I would like to do is actually take a piece of filler rod that fits in that gap and use my filler rod as my filler material. So it's going to actually act as your patch panel. So what you can do is take the piece of filler rod. Here you can see I have a piece of eighth inch filler rod that I'm actually fitting into the weld seam. And what I do is kind of form it to the panel so it does bend and form. And then you can actually zap it or with your MIG or your TIG and weld it uh, on the end. And then use your body hammer to kind of tap it in place. Once you have the shape figured out, you can cut off the end and then you can weld the, uh, the filler rod into the weld seam. It's going to fill it up and it's going to work really, really nicely. And most importantly, it's going to give you 100% penetration. So you're going to actually get a fully welded panel that doesn't just have a uh, weld sitting on top and it's going to keep the heat under control because you're just going to weld and blend everything together in one shot. So that's how I do that with a TIG welder to actually fusion weld and blend it all in. If you're doing a MIG welder and doing the same type of thing, I've used it a bunch of times doing it with the MIG welder and it works actually quite well. What you want to do is turn your MIG welder up considerably higher than you would normally because you're going to be using, you're going to be melting your MIG wire, your TIG filler wire, and you're also going to be melting all of that into the original metal that's on either side of the seam. So you need to run your MIG welder a little bit higher than you would normally when just welding with uh, a tight sheet metal seam. So you're going to crank your welder up, let your filler rod in just like you saw with the TIG, and form it in and zap it as you go. And when you run the welder a quite a bit hotter. It's going to actually flow that filler rod in as you weld it. It's going to fill it right in and it's going to close up the seam just like we did with the TIG. You may need to play with your with your wire speed to get it so that it's just right for you, but that's just a quick little tip to hopefully jumpstart you into doing it with a MIG uh, and adjusting your settings. Hopefully this tip is going to help you guys. I know it's gotten me out of a jam a ton of times and hopefully it'll help you guys. To check out all the tools that you saw in this video, you can click the link down below or you can visit eastwood.com to get all the tools and information you need to do the job right. Thanks guys, catch you later.